she has kindly bought me some new tarantulas so uh, yeah I have opened it ahead of time but I haven't seen what's inside it so I will bring you closer and we'll see what's inside it okay so I don't know how many are in here she's left it a complete surprise um, she just she saw some uh, nice looking ones and she wanted she wanted to buy them for herself but for me and for me to keep and for you guys as well so let's see first one P. Sasmi Sasmi the Sasmi's tarantula Ah, oh, cool. Avicularia purpurea. These are beautiful when they're um, older. Absolutely beautiful. And El Nigerimum, which I believe is a jet black tarantula. Um, sang Sangai something something. I can't fully remember to be honest. Let's just. Move all these peanuts out of the way. So the purple rail, we'll start with this one. Why not? I don't know what sizes they are either. These everything's all completely uh, completely unknown to me. Little sling. There we go. Beautiful little black sling at the moment. I'm not entirely sure when it will get its purple colours. Oh, a little, little run there. But I'll just leave it like this because I'll pop them up after um, after the video. So next we have the Sasmi. Sasmi, 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 maybe. M I A, May, Sasmi. Not entirely sure. There's this, ah, another little one. Proper diddy diddy one. Doesn't mean it can't run faster. Let me see if I can move the light for you guys. It's in a better position. It's a bit better, isn't it? I believe this one turns into a lovely blue tarantula, very blue. In fact, I think it's called the iridescent, iridescent blue tarantula, possibly. My oh, little fella. There you go. Like I said, I pop all of these in uh, new homes after the video. Last one. El Nigerum. Oh, you're a fair size. Just see its bum sticking out. Use this size to bolt. Ah, 
lovely size. Decent leg span as well, actually. We'll just see if we can get him to uh, shift. Just doing this just in case he's a bolty one. I'm bringing the camera down closer for this one so you can see coloration. It's got like a, a tiger sort of coloration at the moment. Um, but these are jet black, these are They're beautiful. Let me just grab a camera for you. I can remove this without him being and pull the light down. Little beauty. Okay, so these guys were sent from the spider shop and I can't thank my old half enough for this. Um, very happy, but she also told me that I've got another parcel coming um, with another four tarantulas inside. So what I will do is, and that's meant to arrive about next week, so what I'll do is leave this Put it all in together and make a big unboxing video out of it and then yeah we'll see what we get uh, other than that i'll see you in about a week's time okay guys package just finally came um took quite a while but they're here i have opened it ahead of time to check if everything's okay just because they come from poland and that's quite a while away so they're inside here so I'm going to bring you closer and we'll check out what they are and yeah some really cool additions in here so we'll cut to the close ups ok so we've got the box and in the box there are six slings one about three centimeters long, one about five, and then the rest are tiny. So we've got the first one, CL. Second one, EAN. CHF, which I think is Kilobrachis something, something. Um, DP, which is like Davos something, and then we've got Hapalopus species Colombian because I lost my, my one escaped somehow, I haven't got a clue how, but it's out, and a PI, which I know is a sun tiger of sorts, I don't know the common names, all the Latin names very well. Um, so apologies for that, but I guess all that really matters is what they look like and whether they're healthy or not. So we'll start with the uh, Sun Tiger, he fair size, and 
You can't really see him too well. I'm going to get a catch cup out and try and get him out for you. Hopefully get tweezers and just put that on standby. Pull him out. Beautiful. He has to be the biggest species so far. Not biggest species, but biggest in size. Leg span, at least, anyway. We'll just get him onto the flat surface. A bit bolty. There we go. And I'll bring you in closer. There he is, guys. Beautiful orange colours and when it gets older we'll actually have like very fluorescent blue underlays to its um to its toes. Don't think it has it just yet. So can't really I don't want it to bolt off if I Absolutely beautiful. You can see the orange vibrant streaks on his toes. Um, I'm pretty sure these are the adult colours to it. Absolutely stunning. Alright. Okay, well, I'm going to leave him under this catch cap whilst we just do the others. And then, um, and then I'll get them rehoused in another video. I might just rehouse them like I did the others um, previously earlier on. I think it was about a week ago now, but I, I rehoused like the the Shanghai Island Black and stuff. And he's made a nice home for himself down there, if you can see. So. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll rehouse them off camera, uh, but I do need to rehouse some that are currently in my collection anyway, so um, we'll rehouse them on camera. So this one is the Hapalophus species Columbian, which uh, is the pumpkin patch to many other people. Uh, let's get another catch cup. in case because uh, I was checking on this guy earlier and he did peg it outside and run up my leg and not my leg sorry my arm um, look at that beautiful if I get the camera there There's another one I'll get a close-up for these are some beautiful species I've got here Again, all thanks to my other half. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at them. Beautiful. Okay, I'll leave him under there. Oh, money, run, run. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, right. CL, I can't remember what it was. Um, so I'll put the the name here. Uh, but I believe they all arrived healthily, thankfully. Look at the small teasers. Uh, 
They're all turned up in these tiny little, tiny little sling parts. <laughs> and uh, I've never really had to deal with them. I can't seem to get the... There we go. So if I look clever about it, you just slowly put pressure on the back. You should should run out. See, uh, oh, this was the uh, cobalt blue. <laughs> just ran up my uh, up my shorts and onto my hand. There's nothing to be scared about when uh, spiders do bolt. Just gotta act in a calm manner and uh, try not to freak out and figure out a way to catch them. This guy's actually like legging it around my top right now. I'm gonna try and there we go. Lovely. Right. So that's him whilst he's calm. Right there. I'm gonna pop the lid on though, um, just because he was a bolty one, eh? Was. Right. Up next we have the Davos. Something I can't remember what it is. Uh, it's the Guatemalan tiger rump. That's what it is. Uh, but as for other names, I'm not entirely sure. I believe this is the one. Yeah. So this is this one. Tread shed in the transit. And he's all the way. God, that cobalt blue is really. Living up to the bolting side of the name. Okay. So the rest are small slings. Um, but if you know me, I like my slings. I like to grow them up and see how much they change. Um, so there's that one. That's small sling pots I'll grab. Like I said, I'll, I'll be rehousing all these after the video. So if I just get him to run in. Come on, buddy. There you go. And that's him there. And here's a lid, so we'll pop him in. I can't get over the size of this. Uh, this Sun Tiger, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, like I said, I, I collect slings over time and then I will get a grow them bigger, obviously. So I've never really had to deal with a larger species except for my mums. So I'm learning along with you guys. So BAN, I can't, can't remember for the life of me what BAN is. Again, I'll, I'll put the name here. Ah, uh, no, no, I remember again. So this is the Brachypelma albulosum, uh, or curly hair to a lot of other people. I find it amazing how they pack these. How the hell they got the spider in there in the first place, I don't know. Got a nice little fat bum, from what I can see. There we go. So, we pop this out. Come on, there you come. And let's just run down.
terribly shaky hands. <laughs> there we go. Got myself a runner again. Here, there, and everywhere. If we pop her in, him, her. There we go. So that's the curly hair. And then, last but not least, we have the Kilo Brachis something. I can't be, it begins with F. Um, can't remember for the life of me. Mother half did tell me, but it looks like it's plugged itself in actually, so it may need to shed. It may have shed, I'm not entirely sure. Like it's got some colour to him. So what we'll do is I don't know how we're gonna do this. There we go. I've got a feeling this one's gonna be bolty as well. So he may need to shed, so I'm going to just try not to stress him out too much. Pop him in over here. See if he'll move for me. Yep. Yeah. Would have been a bolty one. <laughs> Got that just in time. And he looks like. Sorry, camera stopped. And that's him. Fair size. I'm not going to lift it up just because he was pegging it around. So we have him. I um, can't remember the common name for the life of me, so I apologise. We have him, which is the curly hair. And we've got this little one, which is the cobalt. No, that's not the cobalt blue, that's the Davos. We've got the cobalt blue. We have, sorry for the glare guys. Um, we've got the pumpkin patch. And then last but not least, we have this beautiful thing. Right there. And I need to think of a name for him. Um, I know that the other half wanted me to call cobalt blue What's his name? Oh god. I think it was Drax for some reason. I don't know why it's... It might have been Drax, I can't remember. Um, again, I'll put the name here because I'm, I'm stupid and I can't remember. But look at this. It's beautiful. Stunning colours. Okay guys, well, thank you very much, um, I'll be bringing out a rehousing video soon, and yeah, that's all for now, I'll catch you later.